Hello, my lovely mobile filmmaking friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you again. Is this too close? Should I come closer? So today is all about short form content. As we know, it's dominating the world. It's kind of become the norm. It has become really important for marketing strategies. So learning how to create these videos can be incredibly valuable skill. Whether you're trying to make a reel for your personal brand, show off your work, or want to promote a business, reels are a great way to capture your viewers' attention and grow a following. And the great part is that you don't need these expensive camera equipment. You don't need complex editing software. You can easily make them on your phone using the free editing app CapCut. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by CapCut and I wanna thank them for supporting this channel. When it comes to creating reels, you want to have a system that allows you to work more efficiently while maintaining the quality of your content because let's be honest, I'm super busy, you're super busy, we all have busy lives. And if we can save ourselves time while still creating captivating content, then that is a win-win for both of us. For that reason, I will walk you through the whole process of creating a reel from planning and filming your content content to editing and uploading your final video. The first step to creating great reels is having a clear plan. Now, sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but having a clear plan definitely helps. Think about what type of content that you want to create, what message you want to convey, and who your target audience is. Because my channel is all about smartphone filmmaking, and for the reel that I'm planning to create, I'll be talking about my favorite third-party lens, which is where is it? Which is this thing over here, which is the telephoto lens by Sandmark. From there on, once I have the idea, I usually create a script or bullet points outlining what my reel should include. Now, I prefer using a script because it makes the whole process much easier and I can test if my content is up to 90 seconds long, which is around 220 to 230 words, since that's the maximum duration for Instagram reels. Now, once you have your script, it's time to start filming. To make sure your videos look as best as possible, here are a few basic steps that you can take. First up is stability. Use a tripod to keep your phone steady while filming. If you don't have a tripod, you can also use books, but I recommend investing in one as you can position your phone in many different ways. Next is orientation. Set up your phone vertically as this is the best for reels and occupies the entire phone screen. Then is composition. You wanna place your phone away from the background to create more depth. Use the selfie camera to monitor and position yourself more easily. Use the rule of thirds to level your horizon and place yourself in the center of the frame. Next up is lighting. You want to make sure to film in good lighting condition. If you can, place yourself close to a window to use the natural light as your main light source. Next up is audio. If you use the internal mic on your phone, make sure to be close to the phone's mic or use an external mic for better audio quality. I'll be using the internal mic, which actually produces decent audio quality. Next up, we have camera settings. I like to shoot in a cinematic mode because because it creates that nice fake shallow depth of field. I like shooting in 4K, which gives me the highest resolution possible and 25 frames per second for the talking head video part. All of the B-roll shots, I'll use 60 frames per second. Next is locking the exposure. In general, you want to lock your exposure to prevent changes from happening. In cinematic mode, the exposure is locked through the exposure compensation tool. The only thing I do from there is tap on my face to let the focus continuously track me. Next up is performance. Once you have that hit the record button, make sure to look into the camera and not somewhere else. And you wanna make sure to also show some body language. Be a little bit uh, fuego, Latino, you know? <laughs> no, just joking. And also some facial expression because you don't wanna come over as a robot. Neat, 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 neat. You wanna make your content feel authentic and engaging for the viewer. Now, because I prefer using scripts, you could either use a teleprompter or you could just print it out or save it on the Notes app on a second phone to read it off. Then we have B-roll. B-roll is additional footage that you can use to add more context and visual interest to your reel. For example, since I'm talking about the telephoto lens, I'll be filming the lens itself and some footage through the lens in action. Now, before you start importing everything, you wanna make sure to review your shots to make sure everything looks good. By the way, you can grab my free guide to making cinematic videos on your phone. It covers everything you need to know about filming yourself with a phone, plus some gear recommendations for beginners. So once we have recorded all of that stuff, the final step we need to do is to edit the reel. For that, we are going to use the free editing app CapCut. And if you haven't heard about CapCut yet, it's a user-friendly 
all-in-one video editing tool with a wide range of video editing functions, filters, audio, and visual effects. It is available for Android and iOS users and can be downloaded on your mobile device or even your desktop. But for this video, I will be editing the reel on my phone and I will walk you through the whole process of how I do it. So let's get started right away. I'm gonna open up CapCut and then we're gonna create a new project. And the first thing I'm gonna do is import the A-roll, which is the talking head video. So it's around six minutes long. I'm Today gonna select it that I think you'll really and then choose love. add. And the first thing I'm gonna do is trim the A-roll clip. So I'm gonna select the clip and then I'm gonna trim the beginning just as I start talking. I'm gonna use that part. Today I'll talk about something that I think you'll love. Split it right over here. I think you'll love. This is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens by Sandmark for your iPhone. All right, and then I'm gonna split it right over here. And I'm gonna continue doing that for the entire A-roll clip. So I trimmed the five minute clip to around one minute. This is how it looks like. Today I'll talk about something that I think you'll love. This is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens by Sandmark for your iPhone. Say you're traveling and want to film some local people. The lens provides a two times optical zoom that can be used with the standard. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the B-roll, which is the secondary footage that we're gonna overlay onto our A-roll clip. So I'm first gonna choose the part to where I want my B-roll to be added. So over here, I'm actually going to add a B-roll clip that I filmed. I'm gonna select overlay, select the plus. I'm gonna choose this one over here. Select add, increase the size. I think you'll love. This is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens by Sandmark for your iPhone. I'm also gonna add a B-roll over here. I'm gonna select add overlay. So I'm gonna choose this gentleman over here and add it. So this was shot in a 16 by nine format, but I can crop in to fit it in a nine by 16 format. Your iPhone. Say you're traveling and want to film some local people. So you get the idea of it. I'm gonna add B-roll to just add some visual interest to my reel. So I have a clip here shot in 50 frames per second. I'm actually gonna slow it down by selecting it and then choose speed and then select normal and I'm gonna slow it down 50%. Then I'm gonna drag this over here. The iPhone standard lens generally provides the better image quality. Nice. And I'm also gonna reduce the volume on it. So I'm gonna select it, choose volume and then drag it all the, iPhone standard the way lens down to zero. Provides now in this B-roll shot, you can see that the clip is a little bit shaky. The telephoto lens to your main. So I'm gonna stabilize that by selecting it, choosing stabilize, which is right over here. I usually go for recommend it, but I really wanna keep it stabilized. So I'm gonna select most stable. This will crop in a little bit, but since this was shot in 4K, I won't lose much quality. This is what we have. Adding the telephoto lens to your main lens can further... Looks great. So you can now see that I've added all of the B-roll, which looks much more engaging. What I'm also going to do here at the end is crop in on this one, just to create a different perspective. Zoom in a little bit, just like that. Shots with great image quality and is useful for those moments if you can. It looks like I changed the lens to add more diversity. The next thing I'm gonna do is add an effect at the beginning of the clip, choose animation. And CapCut has a bunch of free available animations that you can see. We have the slide left, we got the whipper. And I'm gonna choose the, the zoom one over here. And to sell this effect, I'm also gonna add some sound effects. So I'm gonna head back and then I'm gonna choose audio, select effects. And you can see up here, you can choose transition. Again, CapCut has a lot of sound effects available for you to use for free. And I'm gonna go with the whoosh with echo. So I'm gonna select the plus. Today I'll talk about something. And I'm also gonna reduce the volume to around 15. Today I'll talk about something that- The next thing I'm gonna do is add music. So I'm gonna head back and then I'm gonna choose audio, select sounds. 
And again, CapCut has a lot of music available for you to use, but I'm going to choose a song that I've downloaded from Artlist. CapCut also allows you to import songs. And to do that, I can simply airdrop it from my MacBook Pro into CapCut. So I'm going to do that right now. And I can now select CapCut and it's now been added to the timeline. So I'm going to trim the song. I'm going to split it delete this part and then I'm going to move it to the beginning of the clip. I'm also going to select it and reduce the volume to around two. Today I'll talk about something that I so I'm quite happy with the volume of the music. The next thing I'm going to do is color grade the A clip, head over to filters. Then I'm going to select adjust. I'm going to increase the contrast, add a little bit of saturation, increase the exposure just a little bit. I'm also going to reduce the red a little bit. I'm also going to reduce the highlights a bit. I'm going to increase the shadows. I'm going to make the shot a little bit warmer. I'm also going to add a little bit of grain just to blend in all the colors a little bit better. And then if I want to, I can head over to filters and add a color preset. Head over to movies. I like this filter. I'm going to reduce it to around 20 and then you can also see the before and after by tapping on the image. I think my skin is a little bit too yellow so I'm going to head back to the adjustment, select the orange color and then I'm going to change the hue and make it a little bit more red. And I'm going to reduce the saturation just a tiny bit. The next thing I'm going to do is apply it to all of the A-roll shots. So I'm going to select apply to all as well as the filter. I'm going to do the same thing. Select apply to all. And when I now head back, you can see it has been added to the other A-roll clips. The next thing we're going to do is add some stickers. So I want to highlight the main lens by adding a sticker. And again, CapCut has a lot of stickers available. Go with the arrow. This one over Generally here. Provides the the iPhone standard lens generally provides the better image quality. And then we're going to move on to the next clip. I want to highlight the blurry background in this shot. So again, I'm going to select the stickers, this red circle over Ration here, which I think the looks nice. And the background. Hit the check mark, and then I'm going to position it over here. Background blur creating a nice separation between the subject and the background. The next thing we're going to do is add captions. And what's great about using CapCut is that it generates the captions for you using AI technology. So to do that, I'm going to head over to text and then I'm going to choose auto captions and then I'm going to start. So once the captions have been generated, you want to look through it. And I can see already here that something is missing. Um, so it's called sand mark. Now I can also change the style of the text. I'm going to select it. I'm going to choose this one over here. Today I'll talk about something that I think you'll love. This is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens by Sandmark for your iPhone. Now something I forgot is to trim the ending of the music. So I'm going to select the song and then I'm going to split it and then delete it. And I'm also going to create a fade out then selecting fade. I'm going to fade it to five Today seconds. Today I'll talk about something that's play it back. And it's useful for those moments if you can't get close enough. So I'm quite happy with the reel. The only thing we need to do is export it. I'm going to choose 1080p up here in 30 frames per second. And then I'm going to select the arrow at the top right to export it. So now that we've edited, here is the final result. Today I'll talk about something that I think you'll love. This is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens by Sandmark for your iPhone. Say you're traveling and want to film some local people. The lens provides a two times optical zoom that can be used with the standard or built in telephoto lens for up to six times closer shots. I find so much joy in capturing the authentic moments of people's lives. To me, it's like capturing a piece of history and giving them a voice through my videos. The iPhone standard lens generally provides the better image quality particularly in low light situations. Adding the telephoto lens to your main lens can further improve the image quality instead of using the built-in zoom lens. I love how it increases the background blur, creating a nice separation between the subject and the background. The telephoto lens is easy to attach. You can use the clip or any case that has a 17 millimeter thread. I'm quite happy with it. It produces beautiful shots with great image quality and is useful for those moments if you can't get close enough.
So as you can see, with a combination of some basic filming techniques and the help of CapCut, you can create stunning reels for your social media and take your content to the next level, guys. I highly recommend you check out CapCut as it has all the basic functions for free that help you get the most out of your videos. If you want to learn how to produce professional looking videos with your smartphone, make sure to visit smartphonefilmmaking.com where you can join other students worldwide Whoa, and start making stunning videos right away. I hope this video was helpful and that you feel more confident creating a reel for yourself. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment. You guys are awesome. And as always, thank you so much for watching and happy filming.